what's good it is your boy bake welcome back to my channel today we're talking about how to play pick and roll defense i'm going to be teaching you guys the peekaboo method but before we get into that i need y'all to do what i always need y'all to do spam up the lockdown gang in the comments below 12k just around the corner let's keep it going through the grace of god hey let me know what are y'all struggling with on the defensive end. Again, we're doing some offensive videos this week as well, too. Going over different uh, styles of dribbles, dribble styles, uh, signature styles, and jump shots as well. So be on the lookout for that. So without further ado, let's go into this pick and roll defense. The first way you guard the pick and roll defense is by switching, playing switch defense. And what that means is when you and your teammate decides to switch off on your person you're guarding as you can see right here Embiid is switching off with Seth Curry and Danny Green is going to pick up on Seth Curry they're switching off switching their players off and this is an easy method to guard the pick and roll defense the most simplest method to play pick and roll defense is not too complicated the pick a boom method is a little bit more complicated but we'll break that down in just a few but it's simple all you got to do is you switch off players okay you see right here seth curry's going to pick up ben simmons and b is going to guard danny green so it's pretty much the switch method and the best way to run this even kind of pick and roll defense is by having two fast defenders if you can have two the fast defenders on the ball one on the ball and one playing the peekaboo or switch it will make your defensive strategy tremendous and if you got a big you can have the big play the corner because nine times out of ten they're going to pop out to the corner and if they switch you just rotate and we'll get into that in an advanced tutorial but this is just for beginners people who don't know how to play pick and roll defense at all i'll give you three different methods three different strategies to help you improve your pick and roll defense in the future but you gotta know the basics okay so the switch method is just pretty much switching off uh players switching off opponents having your teammate guard your guy and you guard his guy if they have a pick and roll as you can see one more time right there and b's going to get danny green and seth curry's going to pick up ben simmons so that is the switch method hope that makes sense for you guys let me know in the comments if you was able to understand that if not we'll break that down even further on stream to let you know what we're doing now to this new method a lot of 2k players call the hedge defense aka i'm making it simple for you i call it the pika boo defense and that's when you show and you get back so let's show you some clips of that pika boo method it's like you see mb right here he's showing and then he's going to allow seth to get back in position and they're going to let that ride so let's show you right here so you see mb is showing and is aka hedging he's attempting to seem like all right we're going to switch so he's coming up on that screen making the defender uh letting the offensive player know that okay they probably about to switch but they're not going to switch he's going to show and then allow seth curry to get back into place and go continue to guard his man let's show you again right here you see him beat again he's showing it's looking like okay he's going to switch it's a switch. It's a switch. I'm about to get in beat, and then you should have Seth Curry. But that is not going to happen. That's why it's called the peekaboo. What I mean by the peekaboo method is like I'm peeking out as if I'm about to scare you, but I'm not. I'm going back in. Sometimes I may do the boo, right? And that's when you do the actual switching. But peekaboo is like I'm here, but I'm not. I'm here, but I'm not. It's peekaboo. Now you see me. Now you don't. Now you see me. Here you go. Now you see MB, right? As you can see MB right there, he's peekabooing. He's showing as if he's about to switch off on the uh the play, but he's not. He's going to show to allow your player to get back into position to play defense, and then he's going to go back and guard the the drive or the split uh uh offensive player uh so again it, these are some great methods that help you improve 
your uh, pick and roll defense. But now let's take it another step further and let's show you some gameplay of us trying to master the peekaboo method and also doing the switch method as well. Okay, I got some clips for you guys playing against some comp players. We didn't get the win, but again, it's all about repetition. It's all about learning. It's all about improving. Remember, it's two ways to do it. The switch method and the peekaboo method, right? But the best way to do it is have speed guarding the pick and roll. That's the best way to do it. If you can play speed on the pick and roll, it makes it harder for dribblers to be able to just run left and right. So let's go and show you some clips right here. Me and my boy Top, aka Gunna, was playing the 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 peekaboo defense as best as possible, and then we were switching at times. As you can see right here, my man Top is about to show. So you see Top right there showing. And allow me to get back into defensive position to play my dude. Now, this dude was a speedster, man. Y'all already know these left-right cheesers. We not playing it the most optimized way because we got top who's not the fastest, who don't have no perimeter defense. And it makes it very, very hard to do the peekaboo method. To optimize this, we should have had me and Plummer playing the pick and had top in the corner to uh, have... Uh, the three-point line covered and protected and he's a rim protector as well so you see him right there showing right here. as he's showing this one right here we got a little mixed up right here i thought he was going to show and allow me to get back into position because i was able to do it but we ended up uh guarding the same man twice and this happens we make mistakes and then i hurried up and got back to his man and that puts him on an island that's why i said it's better to have two faster defenders guarding this because it makes it hard as heck i thought i was gonna get a steal right there didn't get a steal we still played it to the degree good but just didn't get the benefit of the doubt so let's break down this play right here again another mistake i was doing i was playing too high up or too far up as soon as he got the ball i should have waited till he got the half court so you see top right there so you see top right there, a little bit too far. I would love for him to be a little bit closer, but he's able to still play solid defense on this play. And then, you know, 2K is being 2K. They gave them the benefit of the doubt. We played that very, very well. We switched. That should have been a steal our way. They gave him the ball back, and then they're going to give him the ball. He did a little backdoor on him, and then I'm going to get out there, contest as best way I can, 5%, and we're able to get a stop right here. Now, this is uh, where top was in no man's land, right? You about to see this man. I get caught up in the screen. This uh, dude, Stewie, top is a little bit too far down. And it's going to give him an opportunity to hit a three. He's got to play that three-point line. He didn't peek a boo. He didn't show. And, hey, he came off that screen and, and popped that thing. It's a straight chicken right there. I can't hold it. That was a good play right there. And now you about to see right here where me and Top get mixed up again where I felt like we could have peek a boo. He showed. I didn't get caught in the screen too much. I was able to get there. Top didn't uh rotate to his man so you know what i did hey it's okay if you don't get to your man uh and they don't switch just hey do a simple switch i go pick up his and he guard mines again to maximize this method it's better to have two fast defenders with speed guarding the pick and roll and leaving the big if the big is going to be out there leave the big in the corner so then me and plumber could have switched look 2k again with the cheese did not give me the block it is what it is um as you can see right here another play where they didn't pick a roll but the arrow is tugging me having me stick the guy that's not even my guy again 2k still got to work with this defensive logic the arrow don't switch fast enough sometimes and i really think that's why a lot of times we be sliding because it's like the arrow be pulling and tugging you and and, and it be messing you up for real it definitely be messing you up uh as you see my man got top with the zigzag y'all know the left right cheese is real and again it's easier to have two faster guards on the pick and roll defense so if the dude's going to slip we're able to switch that and we're able to just uh we don't need to do the hedge or the peekaboo we just switch and just do that but if you're going to do the hedge then the bigs got to show up show up out there at that three-point line show let me get back and 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 play my defense but it's all good again yeah, we was out here doing the best we could it's a close game you ain't gonna win them all you see my boy plumber uh we did the peekaboo method and he's trying to get a steal and i'll be telling him you can't rip these little dudes it's just you just gotta try to stay in front of him as best as possible and uh he did the best he could and we just didn't get the benefit of the doubt we got 2k cheese at the end of the day this man's gonna get a layup 
Tops doing the best he could, playing good defense. See, that's what I'm talking about. When they run into the big, nothing happened for 99 strength, and then they give my boy Plum that animation with 76 block. And we end up losing. But those are the two ways to guard the pick and roll using the switch method and the peekaboo method. Practice those, learn those, get better. I'm still learning. Live life, stress less, you're rocking one of the best without God. My life will be a mess. Always remember to have faith, hope, and love. I love you. Let me know if this video helped you out. All right, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Peace.